Hi, welcome to Patrick's Tech Show. I'm Patrick John. Today we have a pair of Samsung rechargeable active 3D glasses. Model number SSG-3500CR. When I plug them in, they appear to charge and they work while plugged in. But when they're unplugged, they never work. The fact that they work when they're plugged in, but don't work when they're unplugged, makes me think the problem is battery related. Let's inspect this puppy's issue and see if we can put a muzzle on it. Uh... First, peel the sticker back on the side that doesn't have a USB port. I had to use a little flat blade screwdriver to, driver to get it off. Don't poke yourself. Hiding in the darkness is a little baby screw. Remove it. You can now remove this section of the casing, revealing the rechargeable battery. The glasses case say it's a 3.7 volt battery inside. Let's check it with a voltmeter. Not even close. Let's charge it for a few minutes and check again. Remove the USB cord. Nope, still about the same voltage. The rechargery battery is not charging. Guess what we're gonna do next? We're gonna buy a new battery. I'm going to do a search for the original battery type, which is a rechargeable 3.7 volt 70 milliamp hour battery. If you find 3.7 volt batteries, but the milliamp hour isn't the same, that's okay as long as it's close. The milliamp hour measures how much current is used per hour. If the milliamp hour is a little less than the original 70 milliamp hours, then your new battery will last a little less. If the mil mil milliamp hour is a little bit more than the original 70 milliamp hours, then your battery will last a little longer. According to the manual, with the default 70 milliamp hour, one minute of charging equals two hours of watch time, and 30 minutes of charging equals 40 hours of watch time. I found this 3.7 volt 65 milliamp hour battery, and I'm going to order it. I'm comfortable with getting a little less than 40 hours worth. Well, I don't know about you, but while we're waiting for our new batteries to arrive, I think it's time for a snack. And today's snack is Beanie Weenie. Mm, that smells good. And that was Van Clamp's Beanie Weenie. Smoked hickory flavor made by Canagra Brands in Chicago, Illinois. Look what came in the mail. A small box of rechargeable batteries. We'll need a soldering iron. If you're going to be using a soldering iron, I strongly recommend cutting the battery wires one by one and then covering the ends with tape. Cutting the battery out is to avoid shorting across the battery wires with the soldering iron or the soldering wick, possibly causing the battery to explode. Taping the ends is to prevent the same explosion possibility if the wires would touch or short across a conductive surface. I always take a picture to help me remember how the wiring should go. <laughs> now you can remove the old wires and old solder with solder wick or solder sucker if you prefer, or just heat up the old solder and only remove the wire. Leaving the old solder might make things a smidge faster, but it could result in a 
cold joint, which could give you issues in the future. It might not happen, and I've rarely seen it. I also haven't been struck by lightning, and I still take precautions. Okay, notice how the, this is a new battery. Notice how the wires are taped for the reasons I mentioned earlier. Remove the tape from one wire. If you previously removed the stinky old solder, then apply a small dab of new solder to the contact points. Take the wire with the tape removed and put its exposed tip against the appropriate contact point. Apply the soldering iron and watch as the solder melts around the wire tip, connecting it to the contact point. Remove the tape from the other side and repeat the process. Put the battery back into its casing. Make sure that the wires are covered and not gonna get pinched. Snap this section of the battery casing back on. Put the baby screw back to bed. This sticker won't go back on, so I'm going to glue it on. You could just rip that sticker off, but then you'll lose that nice reminder that it uses a 3.7 volt rechargeable battery. Let's see if it charges. This isn't in the manual, but if you plug it into a USB wall charger, it might result in the glasses not turning on with battery power or even when they're plugged in. I am able to recreate this situation consistently when I leave my glasses plugged into a USB wall charger. If you find yourself in this situation, plug your glasses into something with a slower speed like a computer and push the reset pin on the glasses here for three seconds. You should see the LED on the glasses light up and begin charging. They should work fine from that point on. And now for the moment of truth, the glasses are not plugged in and I am going to pair them to the TV. Hold the pairing button for three seconds. <gasps> wow, look at that. 3D glasses are connected to TV. And when I play a 3D movie, the shutters on the glasses become activated. I would like to note that this model SSG-3500CR will automatically power on when moved. And if there's no 3D signal present from your TV for five minutes, they'll turn off. No button pushing. Cool. Thanks for watching. I hope you learned something. And now if you want, you can watch me watch a 3D movie on my TV. Hi, welcome to... Wait! Don't take off those glasses! When can I take my glasses off?